Hi guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and I am here in my big happy planner getting set up in my faith setup. So I'll be working in my faith section of my big happy planner, which is um, one of the things where I basically am planning to use like outdated pages for for October um, and so what I've got in here right now are the September pages and in fact um, I mentioned this in a previous video but like this chore section which is this tab right here I have like some additional pages and what I think I'm gonna do is just go ahead and make the decision executive decision here to move all of these pages to faith I just don't envision myself using any using all of these pages for chores. So I'm just going to move them and I'm just going to use them for faith. Um, and so I did pull some stickers and this is, I think, what I'm going to try to do. So first of all, um, for faith, I just don't use the monthly for anything. I really just only need a place to journal. Um, this is a change for me where I'm going to be journaling in the vertical format instead of the horizontal format, um, but I think it will work out just as well, especially in a big size, just because I'll have more room to write. Um, and so I'll just kind of like be setting up at least this first page just to see kind of what it looks like. And I'm really taking inspiration from planning with Bumble, Mary Ellen, and some others who do creative journaling um, in like a vertical size. I just think that like they, have been really inspiring to be able to like write out um, like and be able to journal in a vertical layout. So I'm just kind of like adapting some of what I've seen with their layouts to this to this faith journal. Um, but one of the things that I do like to do is just like keep prayer lists, prayer requests. Um, I like to take sermon notes. I like to just kind of write all the things and I do tend to write quite a bit when I am writing. So when I do sit down to write, I do like to write quite a bit. Um, but I also don't write every single day. So I do try to get into my Bible and read through uh, certain verses and certain passages, certain chapters, but I don't always like feel the call to like journal about it. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is instead of like focusing on it being Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and like just doing a full week's worth, what I'm gonna do is just write out all of the references to dates and days of the week. So I'm gonna do that at least for this first week. And you know, I might change my mind completely, but I'm gonna just write that out. And what I'm gonna do is basically set it up where I bought this sheet of stickers. This is actually something I purchased from Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon storefront, like on my list um, of planner supplies. So check that out in the description. And what I'm going to do is just starting with the first, um, I will use the date that corresponds. I will try to keep it like within the, the column here, but I'm going to just like, it might be the first where I need some journaling. It could be from the first to the sixth, I don't do anything. And so the very next day will be the seventh. And I'm just going to use the numbers to be able to number the date as I need to for, for each of the days. And so I'm not gonna do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm gonna do it very similarly to how I, I did it in my classic horizontal where, you know, some days I might need like all, like the entire like two page spread just to write out everything and that'll be totally okay. I'll just put like one single number up here. And some, some spreads will be where I go like several days or several weeks without journaling and that is just gonna be totally fine. I'm not gonna worry about like making it be a full week in journaling for the full week. So again, I'm adapting basically like the creative journaling that I've seen with like Mary Ellen and some other folks, but like not really focusing on doing a full spread for every single week. So with that being said, I do have these numbers. I'm going to go ahead and like put them in here. Um, I actually forgot. I just noticed like uh, as I was doing the editing for my planner lineup video, I don't have any tabs and I still don't have any tabs, but this will eventually go into my top tab divider. That's a pocket as well. And so that will go in here so that way I can keep these stickers um, in there. Again, that's linked in my Amazon storefront, but I did want to at least try to decorate this page um, with fall theming. And so I pulled out all of my random stickers here um, that are fall related. And um, I do wanna keep it fairly functional, but um, I just love being able to like look at pretty pages and I thought it would make me like want to be in here a little bit more. And so I'm flipping through this just to see what I have. I think I really love this one, um, but it's kind of Black Friday as well. Um, let's see. Ooh, I love this. Look at, look at that. I need to use this for Halloween. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, so I'm really kind of loving this. This is from an older like seasonal florals um, book from Heather Kell. So I'm setting that to the side just in case I want to use that. There's like some 
that should not go in there. Um, and then I got these sticker books from Walmart recently. I mean, so there are several that are Halloween themed and then a couple that are fall themed. And I'm wondering if these will go well together. Let's just take a look. Doesn't have enough purple. Yeah, it's not enough purple. So I think I'm just gonna stick with just using these two, three sheets from, from Heather. Again, this is an older book. I don't know if you can find this still. Um, I will go through and add more as I need to, like as I like fill in the dates or as I don't use certain dates, that's totally fine for me to do that. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate very lightly. And I think this color matches well with what's already on the page here. You can see like there's a little bit of color. Um, and I'm just kind of putting these for decor so that way it doesn't feel so bare and empty when I jump right into it to write things. And some of these boxes, of course, I can use as well. So that's really nice. This will be very quick and easy, I think, just because I want to be able to save most of the room to be able to write. So I don't want to like, like keep it, I wanna keep it fairly simple. And I'm wondering if that's too many stripes at this point. Um, so I'm going to put this up here. And I want to, let's see. I think I want to add like just maybe a smaller box up here. Okay. And those are all the decorative boxes. Um, I'm looking at this and I may use this. I'll save this with this sheet right here just in case I want to do anything with the spread. In fact, I'll save all three of the sheets with the date stickers. And once I finish the spread, I'll just switch out the stickers. Um, but that's why I love having pockets um, with each spread, just because I will be able to do that. But I'm gonna come in here and add some of these, these larger floral stickers at this point. And yeah, we're gonna call it done just because again, like this is not meant to be like a super heavy decorative spread. It's just meant to like be something pretty that I can look at and you know, just want to have something fairly decorative so so that way I will open up this planner and want to use it uh, and finish out the spread but it doesn't have to be like I can't even see this but like it doesn't have to be like all the way decorated because I'll still have the stickers I'll still be able to use these stickers anytime I want to um, as I go through the week so I'm gonna put this one like right here it says gratitude turns what we have into enough. I love that. Okay, and I'm just looking at it. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see all of it. And I think I'm gonna call it done. Again, like it's really just kind of explaining the purpose here. I'm gonna show you one trick for how I kind of write. Um, one of the things that Mary Ellen does a lot of is like um, go ahead and add her lines, but I actually don't like having lines in there. What I do is use like this graph paper. It's a sticky note. And so again, like I just save it in the week, um, but the sticky note is like my spacer essentially. And so I just basically space it like right here at the top and I just write across the line. Now I can like within this short box be able to write pretty straight. So I don't necessarily need the lines, um, but like as I go into like some other boxes, like if I'm writing across the entire week, I might need to like draw lines in. So this is a work in progress where I'll use this method of like just writing like this. But if I'm like going across two boxes, I'll need to like draw in lines because I can't write, I can't write that straight, not that straight for like across the entire page. But I do have these sheets I have my little spacing guide and I have my date numbers. I'm all ready for October the 1st. All I need now is my top tab divider with my pocket so that way I can stick in those sticker sheets. And again, it's very lightly decorated. I do want to keep it fairly like functional where I'm writing more than I am decorating it. Um, but I think it looks so cute, Heather. Beautiful stickers. I just love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, Bye guys.